Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Minister Lakiva Wallace, and thank you for tuning in to another broadcast of the Living Day by Day show. Y'all know we are always somewhere doing community things and connecting with women and men of God. I know y'all see this amazing person that is sitting in the midst of us, <laughs> if you will. But I have to tell you that I'm excited to be at the Pepsi Gallery at the Fontanelle in Nashville, Tennessee. Nice. I'd be remiss if I did not introduce my backup because, you know, y'all be tripping sometimes, so I got to have some backup in the room, and that's none other than Pastor Yolanda Snipes. Thank you. Well, I, I am honored to have the opportunity to present to some and introduce to others, even though this is not necessary because <laughs> this man has traveled the globe doing amazing things. But for those of you who may not know him, I present to you Dr. Bobby Jones. Well, what a wonderful introduction. Thank you so much. I'll be trying. Much. I'll be trying. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome both of you to Fontanelle here. Thank you. Pepsi Studio, they call it, in Nashville. But we're in White's Creek, Tennessee. White's oh. Creek, Tennessee. Yeah. So it's just two blocks down from Nashville, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> in the country. Right. Right. Okay. Well, we are so excited. And, and Dr. Jones, you have done amazing things. I mean, everybody knows you. No matter where you go, everybody knows Dr. Bobby Jones. Really? But yes, absolutely. I hope, I hope that's good. Everybody knows you. And I that is a good thing. Good. That is a good thing. You know, sometimes when anybody <laughs> knows you, it's uh -oh. terrible. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but I want to kind of step back a little bit and talk. How did you get started into the music industry? Well, it's an interesting thing. I'm an educator, actually. And uh, I was teaching at the university for, for quite a while. And I started working with an organization that I created called Black Expo. Oh, wow. uh, the first one was here in Nashville, and now it's still working all over the country. Anyhow, I came across this music. I'm Methodist, and we didn't use this, this form of music in our churches. Uh, and, but I heard it when I came to Nashville, Tennessee State University. And I started listening to it, and I said, man, this is great music. So anyway, I featured it during the expo. I, I'll make a long story short, and fell in love with it, and then began to produce uh, gospel shows because I did it from a cultural perspective rather than a spiritual one at the time. Mm -hmm. But basically had to go hand in hand. But initially it was a cultural event. Okay. And so uh, now look at it today. Never did I ever think that I would be, uh, after all my experience in education, be just doing just this for as long as I have. It's going on 35 years now. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. You have been in the, the music industry so long. What do you say to uh, that indie artist or that national recording artist out there? How would you encourage them to just stay balanced and just really stay on the battlefield? Because we know sometimes it gets a little difficult. So how would you encourage them to keep pressing on? It's kind of a difficult statement. I've been asked that a thousand times. Mm -hmm. How do you, what do you say to them? What do you say to them? Well, you know, they have to have a mind themselves of what they're trying to do right. and how they want to do it and uh, look at the outcome of uh, from the beginning to the end of their situation and some people you can tell something they never listen to it that is true but uh, I have found that just for myself I can only speak for me mm -hmm. that I love what I do uh, I desire to do it the right way mm -hmm. I try to stay connected with the, the, what it's all about right. and that's I'm, I'm Christian I'm practicing Christianity mm -hmm. so I stay in touch with my source and uh, try to be disciplined, be where you need to be on time, <laughs> <laughs> and be considerate of others. And uh, that's basically the only thing I can say. Everything else is left up to the individual. Right. If you really want to do something, and you really put your heart and mind to it, just like you, it will happen. Amen. 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 All right. If it's for you. Right. First of all, know that this is really your calling. Whatever it is, you know, sometimes we try to do things and, right. and you know, we really should leave that alone. Uh, hello. Right. Like, I won't be singing at all. I won't be calling you about singing. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I won't be doing that, so I'm going to keep it in the shower. <laughs> Well, I see right now that you have a great voice for what you do, what you are doing. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm honored. That is definitely a compliment. Let's talk about this location because being Dr. Bobby Jones, you can go anywhere. But why did you choose this location uh, here? Now? Well, you know, I worked with Bobby Mandrell for eight years. Uh, we worked together, and we, we won a Grammy together. Wow. And, and being on site of where her mansion is, and uh, I thought it was a great opportunity for us to present gospel music uh, once a month. In, in a location that uh, I'm quite respectful awesome. and uh, kind of matches my attitude. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So I chose to come here because of that. First, we were doing it downtown, and the, the problems with parking and all of that were, you know, surmountable. But out here, it's a little bit different than that. So it's a nice, quaint place, and, and I think it's just perfect for what we want to do. Okay. Well, I have a question for you. Um, we all know you as Dr. Bobby Jones, mm -hmm. the, the icon on right. television. Well, my first question is, it's kind of a two-part question. Who are you on your downtime? I'm Bobby Jones. <laughs> what I think, what I think Bobby Jones likes to do I'm, on his. I'm still the same guy. I, I work all the time. I, uh, in, in this business, if you want to stay on top, you really have to put your heart and mind into it. So every day is dedicated to doing something as it relates to what we're doing now. Okay. You know, it's so uh, very little time for vacations and things like that. Uh, I almost have a vacation all the time anyway because I go all over the world. Right. And and that's a vacation for me. Wow. Well. To get to do my craft and then be invited by someone and they take care of the experience. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know, that's that sounds like a vacation. Uh, but when I'm at home, I'm, I'm on the computer most of the time trying to uh, answer situations as we come up in working this business out. And then when I do have what we call maybe downtime, I'm on that television. I love television. And I love basketball. Okay. So this is my season. I'm, I'm watching every night. I'm, I'm on a basketball game. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. You know, I have certain teams that I really support and love. And I was a basketball player when I was in school. So okay. uh, I'm still following my sports uh, ambitions in, in that regard. So uh, that's basically it. If I, a long time ago, when I did have time, I would uh, I like to look at architecture. Okay. And I would drive around, look at different uh, communities where they were building new homes, and I like furnishings and artwork when I'd go to the museum and do okay. that, you know. I'm kind of like that, you know. Okay. I, I like what we call them. Uh, you can't call them the final things of life. Uh, what you call them is just things that are different, mm -hmm. uh, maybe than some other things. But we have the, uh, some people have the uh, audacity to say, Oh, I want the finer things, but what are they? Right. You, wow. know, you have to put that in categories. Is there so. a price tag to it, or is there a yeah, value yeah, of yes. admiration for something? The finer things are whatever you perceive them to be for right. yourself. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, we, we've seen the Stellar Awards um, last night and things that are going on. Looking at some of the artists today and, and some of the people that you have helped with their careers, um, if you were to think about a couple artists that you would kind of pass the baton to, to, to be those motivators and mentors for those coming after them, are there anyone, any um, individuals that uh, come individuals? to mind? Individuals? Uh, Excuse me. Well, it used to be. <laughs> but, think about that, huh? You know, you know, you know, just being real about it. Yeah. yeah. It used to be. I used to look at a couple of guys and ladies that I thought would, uh, if, and when I uh, don't do this anymore. And so I kind of like decided that if somebody else is going to do a gospel show, it's got to be just based around their personality. Right. Okay. And they can't walk in my footsteps and I Amen. can't walk in theirs. So uh, it's going to be an individual situation. Say, Kirk Franklin was going to do a gospel show, then it wouldn't be patterned after what I do mm -hmm. or how I do it. It would be the Kirk Franklin show, mm -hmm. for example. By the way, every one of those artists that came across that stage last night had a hand in developing their career. Right. Mm -hmm. And it made me feel very proud to see them in the way that they're developing. And one of the latest one was this group called um, Anthony, what's his last name? Anthony something, anyway, I, uh, Anthony Brown, and we had it. He was doing background, background work at BET mm -hmm. on our show for right. the artists that would come in. He and his group were mm -hmm. doing background. So the year before last, I think it was, he, he was able to come on the show right. as, as Anthony Brown mm -hmm. and group therapy. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the name wow. of it. And uh, then the song came out, the one that he, that he did at the Stella Awards, and uh, he just became instantly... Uh, another little hit, you know. You never. Yeah, right. performance yeah. was great. So, yeah, it was. It was very amusing and and gra uh, grateful. I was uh, saw that, and I was very pleased to see what had happened to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My prayer would be that um, other artists would take that same compassion for others, not just get to that mountaintop and just stand there. But right. Able to turn around and reach back and help pull someone up. Well, my whole uh, my whole years of what, doing whatever I do has been built on that. Amen. Uh, if you've been watching the show at, at any length of time, you would know that many of the artists on there were new artists, like what we're doing here at Fontanelle. Right. 
Today it's all new artists. These are not uh, what we call professional artists this is on the show today. These, this is an opportunity for them to share their ministry because they, right now they would not be on the Stella Awards. Right. Right. Or they would not be on Bobby Jones Gospel, that one mm -hmm. at BET. Right. But they're on the other Bobby Jones Presents at the Impact Network. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I designed that so that I could give them an opportunity to do that. And we do this free of charge. Wow. Yeah. And how could one get in contact with you if they wanted to be a part of it? Oh, that? I'm on the computer. You know that. Mm -hmm. I have a website. Okay. It's BobbyJonesGospel.com. Hey, Y'all hey, know that. So go ahead and start looking. But make sure when you come, you come correct. Absolutely. Don't waste no time. Come correct. Uh, thank you. Well, I'm going to go back to the most important part of this interview is that you said that you like basketball. I thought I heard you say you like the Miami Heat. Did I hear no. that? No. Yeah, I thought yeah, I heard well, the Miami wait, Heat somewhere. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I heard the Miami I heard, Heat. I know I, I, know I heard the Miami, Miami Heat. Miami. Well, let me tell you. I, I, I was living in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Oh. So I had a chance to go see the Miami Heat an awful lot. I really like them. I really do. But that's, that's not my number one. Team. Oh, oh, but, oh but, my but God. I, but but, but let, me tell you, let me tell you why I really like them as well. Because the, one of the main players, his mother is my one of my good friends. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about Dwayne Wade. Absolutely. Or Jalinda is my good friend. Are you Absolutely. Okay? She's pastor. I know. No, I don't. Yes, yeah, she's I pastor don't. in Chicago. Yes, yeah, she is. So, mm -hmm. so you know something about basketball? Oh, yeah. Like, I am a, a diehard oh, basketball wow. fan. Miami so in particular. <laughs> so Dwayne Wade, LeBron James. If any of any of you guys are listening right now, I am the favorite. <laughs> okay, and I am fan. native Floridian. Listen, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, Brother Kim, now, since you brought it up, I gotta tell you what my favorite team is. It's the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay. Excuse me. Right, yeah. No, I mean Kobe's great. Yeah. There is really no conversation about Kobe Bryant. I mean Kobe Bryant is the best in the industry, next to LeBron James. You heard me say that. And <laughs> but no, I love when they get together. Just this, the the camaraderie that they have together. I mean, there's no competition. It's just great, to, just see great to see them play yeah. um, this basketball. You we, know. Yeah, we Christians should be like. That, eh? Oh, ooh, that's another show. <laughs> that's that's a whole nother show. Let's that's probably a, a show that will probably take five hours to explain, you know, because yeah. we don't have that. And, and I'm glad you alluded to that because yeah. we don't have that in the Christian arena. We, uh, arena, we don't have um, Christians who really stick together, Christians who really support. I mean, there are some. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Some, there are some. Yeah. But, but it's not enough. In totality, you're talking right. about it. Right. That, that hasn't happened yet. No. And, you know why? Because we don't understand what we're doing. Hmm. Once you understand something, and you, you have to go through the process of doing what it is that you do to become what you're trying to become. Mm -hmm. So lack of understanding, is a lack of discipline, mm -hmm. lack of all of that is what keeps us from being able to uh, go through the process of mm -hmm. practicing Christianity in its right way. Awesome. But again, we're practicing. Practicing. Okay. Awesome. We have had an amazing time, guys. We are broadcasting live at the Pepsi Gallery at Fontanelle. And earlier I said we was in Nashville, Tennessee, but I think two blocks <laughs> down we're in White's Creek. White Tennessee. Creek, Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. But you in Nashville, you can still come to just drive down two more blocks. You will see it. <laughs> we are here. And it's an honor to be able to interview uh, yeah, Dr. Bobby Jones. Well, thank you. And I want all of you, you don't have to adjust your glasses. You don't have to try to fix your contacts. You are looking at hey. Dr. Bobby Jones right hey. here on the Living Day by Day show. We want you to stay tuned. We're going into a commercial break, but we'll be coming right back. Are you in the market to sell or buy real estate in Florida or in Georgia? Well, look no more. You need to be giving Lakiva Wallace Real Estate Sales Associate a call to assist you with buying that dream home that you've always wanted or selling that dream home that you have and you realize that there's another dream home that you have your eyes on. You need to make sure that you reach out to Lakiva Wallace Real Estate Sales Associates to help you buy that next home and to help you sell that home that you are currently in or the home it's an extra home and you're just trying to get rid of it well you need to be reaching out to Lakiva Wallace real estate sales associate via Lakiva Wallace at AOL.com that's L-A-K-S and Catherine E B like boy A W-A-L-L-A-C-E at AOL.com or you can reach her via phone at 678-400 Three one nine four. Remember, she can't help you sell and she can't help you buy unless you make sure that you reach out via email or website or via phone. Remember, if you're in the market to sell or buy, you need to be given Lakiba Wallace, real estate sales associate, a try. Be blessed.
Lemons to Lemonade by Christopher L. Walker. Lemons to Lemonade, Overcoming Your Past and Winning in the Now by Christopher L. Walker. Get your copy today online at chrislwalker.com. Welcome back, guys, to the Living Day by Day show. I'm your host, Minister Lakiba Wallace. Alongside me is my co-host, Pastor Yolanda Snipes. And we are excited, guys. If you thought that we really blew your socks off in the first half of this interview, well, we're about to blow off some wife beaters right now. In the name of Jesus. And a couple of boots. <laughs> We are broadcasting, guys, at the oh. Pepsi Gallery at Fontanelle in Tennessee, and we're just so excited to have this amazing young man to be sitting in the middle of us, and that is none other. Please help me welcome to the set, Mr. Everett Drake. Thank you so much. It's just a pleasure to be here with you all. Y'all are such a blessing, not only to me, but to so many people that you probably will never, ever have an idea yeah. of who you're reaching. And it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to be here with you. Well, we thank God for you. And I know there are uh, millions of people out there who really appreciate all that God has deposited inside mm -hmm. of you. Yeah. So talk a little bit about who Everett Drake is. Well, Everett Drake is a church boy. I grew up singing in my home church, First Baptist Church, South Inglewood, here in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, started directing the choirs at my church at the age of 11. Wow. Wow and um, didn't know at that time what uh, it was actually doing for me. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we think we're doing something for somebody else, right. Right. but in all actuality, it's really helping us. Yeah. And I would advise anybody that uh, wants to sing and all, work in your home church and sing in the choirs on the praise team, because that's the best teaching you could ever get. Mm -hmm. It'll do so much for your stamina, your breathing, your uh, begin to get good habits formed that will help you in the long run. I didn't realize at that time what all that was actually doing for me. Yeah. But uh, over the years, I've looked back on those experiences and thank God for the opportunity to have worked and sang in the church choir. I still sing in my yeah. church choir every Sunday. Amen. When I'm not on the road, I'm at First Baptist Church, South Inglewood. That's what mm -hmm. I do. That's who I am. Yeah. Um, through those experiences, I was able to work at a gospel record company here in Nashville, Tennessee, yeah. uh, doing background vocals mm -hmm. for a lot of artists uh, that recorded there um, during the early 70s, late 60s, mid 70s. Um, it was Nashboro Records, and it was housed in Woodland Sound Studios there, not on Music Row, but in yeah. East Nashville area. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the great uh, uh, gospel artists of that time, Reverend Reuben Willingham, Reverend um, Cleophas Robinson out of St. Louis, uh, the Swanee Quintet, uh, the famous consolers, uh, so many, uh, Clara Ward, so many great gospel artists. Wonderful opportunities. And there were many country music stars that recorded there as yeah. well. And uh, we had an opportunity to sing on many of their recordings. So many wonderful experiences. Probably been to 19 or 20 foreign countries. Um, wow. Never thought I'd have an opportunity to do such 
And, you know, all during this time, I, Dr. Jones was recording here in Nashville. I've known him all my life. But I was touring, working in country music, and he was taping his shows. And all my friends were singing with him and working with him. I'd go to the studio to support them because well, I love gospel music. Well, mm -hmm. and all, but you can't always ask people to come and see what you're doing and not be willing to support them and what they're doing. That's true. Amen. So I was always around, and he would ask me, he said, well, why don't you come and sing with me? And I told him, I said, well, I would love to, but, you know, I've got to work, and, you know, I'd be gone sometime, and I can't imagine you allow me the space to walk in and out of a television show. And uh, he said, well, any time that you're not on the road traveling, you're always welcome to come and sing with me. And he's been wow. a man of his word. Mm -hmm. He's allowed me the space to travel with other artists and do other things, but always welcome me back with open arms and say, there's always a space for you. Just uh, keep me informed, let me know what's going on. You're always welcome, and I thank awesome. God for that. You know, mm -hmm. and that's who Dr. Jones is as well. He's always been the one to encourage other people and to share his platform with anybody that uh, he could, just to give everybody a chance and an opportunity. An opportunity. That's and really it's great. And a blessing. That is awesome. And and we were fighting earlier, not physically, guys, but we were <laughs> discussing this CD that uh, Pastor Yolanda has, and there's probably going to be a fight after this show is over because I want that CD. <laughs> oh, no. But go ahead and talk about that CD in your hand. And she'll be okay. <laughs> um, I was just so blessed to hear you perform some of the um, tracks on your CD. Mm -hmm. And like I've said before, I feel this is not a... a CD of entertainment, but a CD of feeling. Um, sometimes it can come from the artists and also those that listen in. And, and we thank you for sharing that. Blessed to be a blessing. And um, I just would love for you to share with our audience, Amen goes right there, and God cares. I didn't realize what that was doing for me at that time, but I've come to realize that a lot of people know me for that and it has kind of become a signature mm -hmm. for me you know had no idea at that particular time God came back to me and said um, all you were doing was being a witness mm -hmm. well I stood there and pondered these thoughts and you know and it's just, what is this you know about Lord what are you saying to me you know didn't know what that was actually all about right a few minutes he came back and said to me now, I want you to go back to these same sad people mm -hmm. and sing this song. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, I opened my mouth and said something. I said, but I don't have no song. Mm -hmm. Nothing else was said. But soon after that, I began to receive images in my mind. And I saw people living on the street. I saw people walking, pushing their grocery carts as we see them sometimes with their belongings and wow. everything they have. Yes, everything they have. I saw people living under bridges and all that and not understanding, you know, why am I seeing, why am I seeing this? Things. Right. Mm -hmm. Then I would begin to see people in the hospitals uh, laying in their sick beds and being rolled in wheelchairs down the hallways, doctors working in the operating room on people and uh, I just kind of, you know, was um, at a loss there for a moment trying to understand what, what God was saying. What God yeah. was saying. And it was only through a conversation with my producer, Derek Lee, that um, I had a chance to really get a full understanding of what was going on. I began to share with him. He kept saying to me, now what do you, you keep talking about this amen goes right there. What do you want to say? Right. So I began to share with him this story and tell him what God had said to me. And uh, he's such a genius. I'm speaking of the music director for Bobby Jones Gospel. Right. Um, this young man is awesome. Uh, he began to look up in the room at the crown molding around the ceiling. And it was as if everything was written on the crown molding. Right. And he's so fast that if you don't stop him when you hear something you like, mm -hmm. You know, he's going to keep reinventing or redeveloping or keep creating. And he fell up on that hook. Amen goes right there. You better stop it and now. I said, ah, you better stop it. it. He said, what's it? Oh. I said, what you played right there. 
I said, that's the answer. Oh, wow. He said, answer? I said, yes, because I see this as a rally call for our people, not just our people, for all people, black people, white people, everybody, mm. that we've got to learn to work together. We've got to learn yeah. to get on one accord and help one another. God loves us, yes, but he wants us to love one another. And this is what I'm, I'm trying to say in message. this song. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is so amazing. And I know that there are millions of people that are viewing right now that they've heard that song. And it's really ministered to them. And they want Everett Drake wow. to come to their church or come to their events. So tell them how they may be able to get in contact with you. I'd be more than happy to come and share with you. I'm available to come on Sunday morning uh, for worship services. Uh, afternoon concerts, workshops, whatever the case might be, uh, I would feel a blessing to be able to come and share with you. Uh, Jay Bender Entertainment takes care of all my travel arrangements. I'm blessed to have somebody to help me. His name is Jimmy Bender. He's at 615-873-0646. Again, that's 615-873-0646. And his email address is J-B-E-N-D-E-R-E -E -E at gmail.com. And you can also email me. You can email me at info at everettdrake.com. That's E-V-E-R-E-T-T-D-R-A-K-E.com. And my web address, if I might share that as Absolutely. well, is www.everettdrake.com. And you can always go there anytime and go to the calendar page on the website and see who's coming on Bobby Jones Gospel every wow. Sunday. Amen. I've made that a feature of uh, the website as well because um, I'm blessed to be a part of such a wonderful organization, Dr. Jones and well. BET's Bobby Jones Gospel and have been there for 30 years now and I wanted to definitely keep that a part of what awesome. we do. It's a awesome. blessing. Well, it is a blessing, and you're hearing a lot of music in the background because we are live, guys, at the Pepsi Gallery at the Fontanelle. This is the Bobby Jones taping, so you're going yeah. to hear a lot of music in the background, but we are so honored today to have the opportunity to interview this amazing young man here, wow. none other than Everett Drake. And if you are out there and you want him to come to your, you can't claim on your taxes because he didn't give you the social security number, but he gave you everything else. Everything. Can't put him on your taxes, but you can invite him to come to your church to be a blessing to your congregation. So make sure you reach out to him. This has been an amazing show. Of course, I'm your host, Minister Lakiba Wallace, alongside my co-host, my backup, Pastor Yolanda Snipes. And we are always excited to bring you great guests and in great topics right here on the set of the Living Day by Day show. Make sure you stop by our website at www.livingdaybyday.net. We love you real good on the set of the Living Day by Day show, and you can't do anything about it. Be blessed. Amen goes right there. Amen goes right there. <laughs>